Hey guys, um, sorry I missed a few days last week. Um, with kids going back to school and stuff like that, I'm really struggling finding the right way to work my schedule to get this in with uh, getting them ready, uh, getting them out the door, my workouts, my own personal quiet time, um, my kind of decompressed time uh, and working, you know, obviously, and, and having family time and stuff like that. So I appreciate those of you who are bearing with me. Uh, we're also going to, I think, move into a little bit different format, um, kind of. I mean, you guys may or may not notice a difference. What I've been doing up until today, for the most part, is whatever my daily Bible uh, devotional is talking about, it's kind of what I talk about. Um, and that was good, and I may go back to that some every once in a while, um, but I'm going to really try to do something different, something a little more um, mine uh, instead of um, talking about what somebody else may have said or my interpretation of what somebody else would have said. So, with that being said, um, my buddy Deshaun Thompson who is a pastor, a local pastor, um, put on Facebook a couple of days ago, um, seven-day fast. It was pray for our country, um, our school systems, all this kind of stuff with everything that's going on. Deshaun's an awesome guy, and you should absolutely follow his um, company. It's Thrive um, LLC here in Oxford. Mississippi. He is uh, an awesome dude. He's doing great things. And you should follow it just for the Motivational Mondays. It's a great way to start your day. Um, and he's a good guy. And if you ever need anything, he's 100% on board with helping whoever, however. Um, so give him a give him a look up. Um, so I had every intention of starting that with him that day. Um, I didn't because I'm soft, <laughs> to be honest. So I started today. So uh, basically, we're just fasting from twelve, from midnight to twelve um, noon, and so uh, I did that today. Um, no food, uh, some coffee, but and water, uh, and that was it. Um, and it was just a time to, when you feel that hunger pain, it's not to worry about that; it's to worry about what you're praying about. And so today, I prayed for my kids. Which I know I'm not the only dad out there that prays for their kids. And I prayed for their safety, and I prayed for their salvation, and I prayed for their nearness to God. And, you know, I, I prayed that their dreams were the dreams God had for them. And um, stuff like that. But sometimes it's hard for a dad or a mom to understand that maybe praying for an easy, safe, secure life is not what God has in store for our children. And in many ways, it's terrifying. And I think there's some biblical precedent to, to this as well. If you'll take a look at Psalm 127, um, starting in verse 3. It's just 3 and 4. Actually, I'm going to do 3, 4, and 5. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his quiver with them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies at the gate. So, in this passage of Scripture, God's telling us that children are to be arrows in the quiver, in his quiver, sent out. So, if you think about what is an arrow? It's an instrument of war. It's something that's used to kill, even if not people, animals, to hunt with. Um, but it is being launched. It is being sent out. Um, and God has commanded us to do that, right? So our job as parents may not be probably is not um, to pray for them to have easy, successful, secure, stable 
lives. It is for them to be arrows. Our prayer should be that our children are arrows in God's quiver. That means they're going to be sent out. That means the people on the other side are not going to like them. It means that sometimes they're put in difficult situations. It means that they're going to have to rely on God to get them to where they're supposed to be. And sometimes the results are not going to be good in our eyes. Now, it's all God's plan. And if they're serving the Lord, if they're um, going out of his quiver, they're fulfilling his purpose for them. And that may not be our purpose for them, but that's not for us to decide. We have to turn that over to Christ. Our job is to help make the arrow. Notice I said help because we can't do anything without Christ and his authority and his power. But we're to attach the feathers so that the arrow flies straight. We're to make that shaft exactly the way it's supposed to be so that when it hits its target, it's strong enough to do the damage that it's supposed to be to do. We're to sharpen the arrowhead giving it a fine cutting blade and we're to make it as perfect for its purpose as we can whether we like that purpose or not i'm going to be honest like i pray for my kids daily um to be whatever god wants them to be i say daily often <clears throat> what if that's not what i want them to be Their purpose is outside of my hands. And I just have to give that up to Christ and trust that whatever it is that their purpose is, is perfect and holy and better than anything I could have imagined for them. So parents, that's a tough one. It's a hard one for me to swallow. But it's what God put on my heart today. So that's the message you got. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like what you're hearing, please like, share, and subscribe. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, however you're watching, just keep watching. Um, it's encouraging to me to see that you guys are watching and that those things are happening. I love it. Feel free to interact with me. If you're ugly to me, probably not going to interact back, but I'd love to interact with anybody. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow.